I'm Maurice Dubois. Now, four stories. Stories about local heroes. Now, four stories. Every kid dreams of stardom. Few kids become stars. But all kids can shine in their own way. Vision Bond knows it. Once a troubled teen himself, he now volunteers to help kids make the most of their talents. He believes that on stage or off, performing well is the key to success. These teenagers in the Bronx are a lot like many teenagers all over the New York area. Their walk and dress makes a statement, one they claim is misunderstood. They're stereotype teenagers. We always getting like degraded the neighborhoods in the Bronx. Mostly black and Latino, they believe they're perceived as destructive, as predators. I come out like like I'm angered. O automatically, I, I, I put my guard up also, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people feel that blacks, you know, teenagers, they're all like sludge and all, you know, they're not gonna mount anything. But when you go up there, they're like, oh, she has talent. I win. But these teenagers are poised to shatter expectations thanks to the All-Stars Talent Network, a 15-year-old series of auditions and performances designed to offer inner-city kids alternatives to gangs, drugs, and crime. One of All-Stars' youth producers is 23-year-old Sean Bond, a Bell Atlantic repairman known to everyone as Vision, a name he picked out of a comic book when he was 15. That's also when he first auditioned for All Stars as part of an R&B group called Perfect Pitch. But Vision was also part of another group, a gang with a criminal record for larceny. I was always getting to something. <laughs> Back then, I was in a gang, and it was more like family. It was like something like basically all the people I knew were basically already in this gang. The gang, called Decepticons, was Vision's security, his family. Three years ago, he left it for good. Yeah, All Star is my new family, <laughs> basically, and it's a lot bigger too. It's like um, some place to go and let loose all my po positive energy. He looks kind of tough, and he's really not that tough. He's not kind of a sweetheart, you know? He'd probably die when he hears me say that. Hi, you need some help? Almost every weekend, Vision supervises auditions throughout the area, welcoming about 30,000 young people a year into his family, the All-Stars. When you see a young person such as Vision, you know, embrace you when you walk in the door, you feel more relaxed, you feel like you could be yourself. Vision is a young person who young people say, well, he's not so different than me. They say, hey, I could do that. I could learn to run this program. I could learn to do something for my community. So he's the kind of role model that isn't far away from you, that's right there with you and that can support you to develop. This is an audition but everyone is formally congratulated and makes the next show if they attend a workshop and perform a skit on a meaningful issue in their lives. That's where the real work begins. Yo, man, you got the time? Yo, man, this is Holman, All-Stars founder Fred Newman, a Stanford-trained social therapist, believes it's the first step in changing themselves from what they are to what they can be. Blood members got shot today. Most of the people who come out of our stars and they make it, don't make it by becoming top-notch performers of, 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 the, you know, of the entertainment variety. They become better performers at, at living their lives. Today's topic is racism. On my left, we have the NAACP, and on my right, we have the KKK. And if you give people the opportunity, like Vision, even though they've gone through a great deal, if you reopen that and say, perform, you can perform, not just on a stage, but you can do everything. You can perform in life. You can do things that you're not supposed to be able to do. People start to become those things that they can't be. Society needs to wake up and pay attention. I used to be shy, very shy. <laughs> but then I started going on stage and I just like, I don't know, just had mad fun. <laughs> From there, I just started learning more responsibilities, different skills, I learned, learned how to work with computers and different types of machines that I probably wouldn't have learned if I didn't start coming to our stars. Vision has proved Dr. Newman's theory in practice. After working an eight-hour day for Bell Atlantic, 
He walks three blocks to the All-Stars offices in the Castillo Theater to begin another four to five hours of volunteer work. He phones local teens, helping them stay on track for performances and in life. Hello? Hopefully, I can help them ease some of that hard times they're going through, maybe showing them a different way to address their frustrations rather than getting into any type of trouble like I used to before I started coming to All-Stars. Though Vision's nickname came from a comic, even he would never have believed the storybook journey he has taken from gangster to youth mentor. In the process, his goals have changed as well. He no longer craves the bright lights. Instead, he's content to be a shining light for his son. It's not just me out there. I got me and my son. So that's someone I got to be a role model towards him. And then, then by being a role model towards all the youth in the program, it gives me a head start to learn how to be a role model to my son. Draw a picture of him. Vision hopes by the time Sean Jr. gets to be a teenager, the only perception he'll be colored by will be his own. There's your cue. <laughs> All Stars auditions are held almost every month. The finals of the talent shows will be held in November at Town Hall with a grand prize of $1,000. But Vision would be the first one to tell you that the rewards of being an All-Star are even greater than that. To reach the All-Stars, you can call Roger Grunwald at 212-941-9400.